Gary Birchel's Cape Islander and Tuna Boats in French Village, Nova Scotia. Birchel's have been there for many generations. Here it is from the wharf. Lots of angles for your masterpiece. It was a beautiful morning and I just couldn't resist getting all these angles. Yes, the little boats are called tuna flats. And the red one is a Cape Islander. More tuna flats. These are bigger ones. Another angle. High and dry. Here we are back to French Village Harbor off Birchall's Wharf. From the road. Beautiful sight. Again, another angle. It was just one glorious day. This one is beside the old store, looking out through to the boats. Here we are again. Red's a great color for painting boats. A punt. Now we're coming up to high and dry. This is down in Hackett's Cove. It used to be Ernie Gates's place. There's his fish store. So this is for those that like to paint boats that are hauled up. Another angle. And another. All the old fishing gear around. This is a dandy one. Bow on. And the next one's a nice one too. Beautiful angle. And now we're back to Peggy's Cove. Wayne Manuel's fish door is on the right. That's Blue Boat, Miss Peggy's Cove, Reverence, and then Harbor Mist. Back to the Tuna Flats. They're a real sturdy boat. More Tuna uh, Flats at Birchall's. And this is my nephew, Jody Morash. His boat, he does lobstering. Here's a better angle, side on. Back to Peggy's Cove, Miss Peggy's Cove, and the Reverence. And another looking out through the cove. And we're back on, and the fish doors. We call those fishing shacks fish doors in Nova Scotia. There's the Reverence heading out lobstering. Roger's Bowie Shop. Getting a facelifting. And again, there it is. This is Peggy's Cove. I guess you all recognize that. And here's Eric and his buddy. Getting ready to go. Another one tied up to the government wharf. This one, I don't know who owns. I think it's Roger's. Roger Crooks. And this was Jody's previous boat. He had two others. This one, some kindly person burned it. And here we are, back in the cove. And again, looking out. Roger's buoy shop. And here's Harbor Mist. That's owned by Ensley from Indian Harbor. And this is uh, Miss Peggy's Cove. Michael Morash, out lobstering on a foggy day just off Peggy's Point. Lots of angles for you just to capture the one that you want. And there's another. Michael and I and most of the younger, well, not younger now, <laughs> 
We all went to school together at East St. Margaret's Consolidated. There he is getting ready to pull in a trap. Took lots of angles on this one for you. Hit on. Fog gives lots of mood. But you don't have to make it foggy if you want to sharpen it up. Oh, look at this. The sun was breaking through on this from the fog this day in Peggy's Cove. This is Hackett's Cove. Actually, it's Boulder's Cove, but it's in the village of Hackett's Cove. You'll like the lupins. Peggy's Cove, York Manuals, old Cape Islander. This is an old picture. I hope these images and these videos are helpful for those of you who need uh, material to paint, especially if you're a land lover and you want to do a seascape and you don't live near the ocean or whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and share these with your friends. Have a great time painting. Oh yeah, and by the way, just a lot more to come. So keep checking weekly.